Hey guys, it's Kelsey here, and today I have something a little bit different to share with you. Um, my channel has mostly been about scrapbooking and um, the scrapbooking world and um, books and whatnot, but um, I really do like my channel to be diverse, and I like to just talk to you guys about um, what I'm thinking about and things that I've found and little tips and tricks and whatnot. So that's really what my channel is about. Um, it's more about Kelsey is doing this today or doing that today or whatever. Um, so this is going to fall into one of those kind of weird categories. But um, my husband and I have been shopping around for a different phone plan. Um, we, had, we had Sprint and we called up a few months ago and we complained because our bill was so high. We were just sick of it. And they switched us over to the brand new Framley plan. And that did save us probably $30 a month. Um, and time was ticking and we were just sick of our bill being so much again. And we had had our phones paid off, so that wasn't an issue. But since we were on Sprint, we can't switch our iPhones to a different carrier because that's the way Sprint did it. So anyway, we were just trying to decide what to do to get our phone bill lower and what we could change around. And my husband reads articles and does research on this stuff all the time. And this was like a super hidden gem that he found. Um, and this is for basically if you're a Sprint customer and you're wanting to leave, this is through Sprint, basically. It's called Ting. And I don't know why, but it, my little chart here printed off kind of funny. But it's called Ting. T-I-N-G. And basically what it is is... Um, a phone plan except it goes by how much you use it and this isn't like a track phone it's not a prepay or anything um, so I'll kind of explain it but basically it is six dollars a month just to use your device so my husband and I have one phone a piece so it's twelve dollars just the base price and then of course there's gonna be taxes on top of our regular bill um, but obviously that's with any phone plan so so we started out at $12 a month and then it's got like this tiered plan. So they have minutes, messages, and megabytes and they've got small, medium, large, extra large, or even more, but I'm not going to go into that. And they even have an extra small plan. So if you never use any megabytes, you're not going to get charged for that. Or if you just don't text, you're not going to get charged for that. Um, so it starts out the small plan is, one to 100 minutes is $3, one to 100 messages is $3, and one to 100 megabytes is $3. And then it jumps from there. So say you use between 101 and 500 minutes, you're gonna pay $9. If you use between 101 and 1,000 messages, it's gonna be $5. And 101 to 500 megabytes, it's $12. So they jump, like that one jumped $6, that one only jumped two, and that one jumped nine. So you can even see what you're using and see kind of how that's gonna shape up and see if you can like maybe not send as many text messages or maybe not use as many megabytes. Um, and then of course you get voicemail, is free three-way calling caller ID you can tether which um, basically means you can use your phone your phone's megabytes like on my iPad I don't have a service plan for my iPad so I can only like sign in to somebody's wireless or use the wireless at home but I can actually use my um, phone as a hotspot and it will just use my regular megabytes but I'll be able to use them on the iPad which has a bigger screen um, so that's free hotspot and more. So, I mean, it's got all these things. It's, I mean, it's as good as a regular phone plan. So just to let you know, like, this is just the chart that I printed off their website just to kind of show you guys. So this month we happen to use, I think we're at like 600 minutes and that's $18. And our messages, we went over by a little bit and we're at $5. So we barely switched from the small to the medium plan. And then megabytes, I think we're also in the medium plan. So that's 18, 12, and 5. So that's $35. Plus, we do have the $12 for the um, device fee. So that's $47.
plus taxes and fees that my husband and I spent on our phone plan this month. And um, so I don't know what the taxes are going to come out to, but if that's the same price as everyone else's, I'm just going to bump that up to $60 and just say that's probably what our phone bill is going to be this month. And you want to know how much we paid last month when we were still in the Sprint family plan or family plan? $117. That's a big savings. That is $57 more that we paid from this month with Ting and last month with Sprint. $57. That is a lot of money to me. And they've also got some information like you can look on the website if you're interested. Um, they'll also help you pay out of a contract. They'll give you like 25% back, I think they said. So you can look that up. But the other great thing is that um, if you use a referral link, you get $25 back on your first bill. And by using that referral link, you would also, the person whose link you used gets $25 back. So I'm going to include my referral link down below in the comment section so that if you guys do sign up, you can save $25 on your first bill and we'll save $25 on our bill at the same time. And um, we signed up and we got our $25 credit. And you know, normally you have to chase those down or it takes 90 days to make sure you're going to stick with the service. No. Our $25 credit is going to be available to use on our first month's bill. So that means the $60 approximately, it's going to be $25 less just because we've got that $25 credit. So I think that's freaking awesome. And I just wanted to kind of share the savings with you guys. And I mean, if you don't use many megabytes, your plan could be even lower. So, um, I just think this is an awesome deal and I just wanted to share it with you guys basically um, because if you're like me, then every penny that you can save somewhere else is another penny that you could spend towards scrapbooking supplies. <laughs> so that honestly, like, do you know how much scrapbooking stuff you get for 57 bucks a month? Um, and of course you might use more, you might use less. It might not be the right option for you guys, but if you're looking to reduce your phone bill, this could be the right plan for you guys. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you because like I said, it was kind of a hidden gem, but, um, I, so far, we're very, very happy with it, and I'm even going to let you know this. On our phones, we were able to put our phone numbers on there, um, so we didn't have to switch phone numbers, which is always nice. And in the little um, top left-hand corner of your iPhone, or that's what phone we have is the iPhone, um, it says, like, if you're on T-Mobile, if you're on Verizon, if you're on Sprint. And so we figured it would change to Ting. No, it still says Sprint, like, because this is, like, some kind of Sprint bastard stepchild plan, I guess. So, uh, it still says Sprint in the upper left-hand corner of our phones, so that's still the network that we're on. We haven't noticed any difference in call quality or, um, you know, getting reception anywhere. It's all been perfect. So, um, basically, it's a win-win. I was really nervous when my husband came and talked to me about it. I was like, no, I don't want to switch. What if we lose our phone numbers? What if our phones are shut off? You know, what if we can't get reception? I was totally nervous about it. My husband was like, let's try it for a month. If not, we'll just go back to the other plan. And so we tried it, and it's working. And so I'm just excited to get my first bill and see how much it is. But um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's automatic billing. Like, it automatically comes out of your checking account. I personally like to pay my bills. I don't like stuff to come out automatically just in case it would, like, bounce a check. But um, that's really my only negative, and to save $60 a month, even if I bounced a check every single month, it's still going to save me money. How ridiculous is that? So anyway, that's just um, ting, and it's just a way to save money. So this video went a little bit longer than I meant for it to go on, but I just am really excited about it and wanted to share it with you guys. And um, also, you can get an app. You can download the app on your phone, and you can really keep track of what you're using. So... Um, my husband does that and he's really on top of it. So he's excited about that too. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So if you do want to sign up, please use the referral link. I'm going to put it down in the comment section below. Um, and you can use that. And like I said, you'll save $25 and so will we. So let's say yes to saving even more money for scrapbooking supplies. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back soon with, um, you know, something probably more scrapbook related. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.